Hey folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. We are on live with the One Shot Weekend. Uh, congratulations to you for tuning in to us. Uh, welcome and don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube channel. And uh, up there at the uh, top section is our uh, crap store where you can buy all sorts of crap like, I don't know, a bath mat, phone case. Underwear. Underwear. No, no underwear yet. Oh. Uh, the jockstrap design was... We're really trying to get that hammock to fit all of Motor Hobo ink on it. A little difficult. Vibrators, Unless do they have those? They don't have the vibrators. Ah, no no products whatsoever. The, condom, uh, the condoms were thought to be a good choice, but uh, they were chosen not to. Uh, oh. Folks, let's get back to the game. We've got, uh, <laughs> we're losing track already. Uh, folks, we've got uh, three players. One uh, stalwart player, as you recognize him. Uh, the producer has decided to step in front of the camera, unfortunately for us. And Kyle's wife, well, I'm sorry, alleged wife, we are not sure. We have not seen any documentation. This is couples therapy, d and So welcome. Uh, we'll start off with Kyle. Kyle, uh, who, you, who are you and who are you playing tonight? I'm Kyle. I'm the best live barbarian that hasn't been on in... A really, really, really long time, like a month, month, uh, because she's a jerk and she doesn't have children and I have to take care of people around here. It's part of my job. Anyway, uh, tonight I'll be playing Billy O'Connorham or Billy, nope, I said Billy twice, Connor O'Billyham. I don't remember which, so I'm just going to switch. Connor O'Billyham. Billy O'Connorham, got it. Job. You got this. You're good. Well, of course I have it. Uh, next up is our producer, who is in front of the camera. Carrie, who are you and who are you playing tonight? I am the DM's wife and producer of this shit show. So. No favoritism. No favoritism. <laughs> well, some of you only have to watch this periodically. I get to watch it every weekend. So I'll be playing a ranger, uh, Blackheart the Ranger, who has no fucks to give. <laughs> Last but not least, I will not introduce her by name because she did not want her name put out there. <laughs> or at least that's what Kyle said. So, uh, Dirt Sniffer, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Dirt Eater, thank you very much. No, this is his thing. He always oh. gets the names wrong. Well, because I don't pay attention. I just... Yeah. Doo-doo, eat you. My name is Duff because I'm a Goliath. But I don't know how to say Goliath, so I can just say go, and that's it. I'm not, yeah, okay. The end. That works. And this is your very first game, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow, poor bastard. Uh, you know how this goes. It's a one shot, so uh, it's just like watching Drew Carey. Uh, Nothing matters, and the points don't really count. So, uh, what these guys have done is <laughs> getting a lot of feedback when you do that. You need to mute. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not all professional like you are. Uh, the producer is not used to being in front of the camera. Okay, folks. So, uh, Harry, how does that make you feel when <laughs> you know it makes me feel unappreciated, really, Kyle? Yeah, it yeah, does. Hey. Kyle, do you know that uh, Sigmund Freud had a problem with his jaw and had to have part of it removed? We learned that tonight. And now oh, yeah. we're sharing it with the Murder Homo audience. Seriously? Yeah, he had jaw cancer for like 16 years. <laughs> Look it up. It's on the How internet, so we know it's jaw. true. <laughs> no, no, part of a jaw. Just part of a jaw. How did he miss part of a jaw? Yeah. How did he eat? Very little. No, he was skinny. No, no one's listening to you. Actually, we're listening to her over you. So. I care a point, too. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, these guys have been approached while in the uh, bayside town of Subic, and there is a problem in the village of Trance. Apparently, every 10 years, a child has to be sacrificed to appease the mining gods and keep the gemstones flowing. <laughs> I love that look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two year old has a gap between his front teeth. 
the kid they're going to sacrifice this time. Going an overbite. We're going with an overbite. Uh, anyway, the child's father for this particular tribute uh, really doesn't want to lose his child, so he has enlisted this trio of adventurers to go ahead and serendipitously uh, kind of take care of the problem. So he's going to lead them back to Trounce, but they cannot let the townspeople know that they're here to stop the tribute because that would, of course, fuck up the mining contract with the mining deity and uh, ruin their livelihood as they know it. So, uh, on the way to Trounce, uh, trio of heroes, uh, you find out that just to the north of the town is a rift. And every ten years, a uh, vast winter storm comes blazing through and it is followed by a terrible creature uh, and it takes the human child and rips them off a tribute post where they are chained uh, and then the mining continues the very next day like nothing happened so it's kind of like you know uh, life today where americans only have an attention span of like 15 what was i talking about uh, squirrel squirrel 15 squirrels. Uh, so, uh, and in that being said, after a couple days of trudging overland, you reach the mining camp of Trounce. It's similar to Fink because, let's face it, I have very little imagination anymore. And I just rehash shit. So, as you arrive at Trounce, what would you three like to do? There's a monster who's going to come and rip a child. So, are we still with the dude? You're still with the dude. Uh, he yeah, uh, immediately forgets that he knows who you are as you reach Trounce. Because it gets fed everything. Okay. Um, so is there a tavern there? There is a tavern. To sacrifice children and it's, feed them up. It's like the goat in Jurassic Park. Yes. Oh. Except it's a child. Are we all caught up there, goat? Although, to be fair... <laughs> If I'm it were, very I, confused. All right, she makes a good point. If it were a goat, I feel like we would care more. Yeah. The child's yeah. name is Goat. Oh, how old, right. how old is the child? The child's name is Goat, and it's an actual goat. Yum, yum, yum. No, this kid. is deal with. <laughs> The child is five years old this year. Well, it's only five. They're little assholes at that age. I mean, they don't well, do honestly, much. That's the sweet age. That's the better age. The two-year-old tantrums. The tantrums are over. They're five. They can talk. They can wipe and their they own bottom. And they haven't spoken back to you yet. I, I just, I don't know what to do with this group, folks. How much are we getting paid to do this? Uh, out of the goodness of your heart, you're each getting paid 200 gold pieces in gems. Essentially, it's a sack of gems. Three. Is, is that getting deposited into my bank account? Yes, there is direct deposit available. At <laughs> I say we go ahead to the uh, tavern and find out more about this deity, child eater. Oops. <laughs> Trigger word. Oh, no. It's going to be a long night, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have football on, so you're pretty much screwed watching us. No. Okay, we've got one individual who wants to go to the tavern. Uh, what do the other two want to do? <laughs> Does a Goliath fit in a tavern? Uh, just barely, although this is a human mining colony, so the Goliath should be okay. <laughs> I got distracted. Go ahead. Um, yeah, no, tell um, them. Tell okay, them well, I got distracted. I saw a squirrel. You guys were talking about squirrels earlier, and I'm still stuck on that. They are cute. I want to go talk to that. <laughs> Squirrel? Squirrel. Okay. That's what I want to do. He has a... He has a... He has a... He has a... Yeah. Bye. Uh, what would the uh, bard like to do? I would like to watch this Goliath chase a squirrel. <laughs> okay. Inside the tavern, there are a... Uh, there are a Plentiful amount of people in there. What would you like to do? Uh, I'd like to sit down and buy a drink and listen to <laughs> listen to the conversations. 
as you chase a uh, very large goliath tracks from a goliath squirrel around after the fourth wall you discover that it's still ahead of you so you what is your intelligence dumb Four. wow Give me an yeah. intelligence check. Negative one, three. Yeah. What? Roll <laughs> twenty. Subtract three. And then subtract you three. You can use the box of We need <laughs> 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 two. You continue chasing the Goliath squirrel with yes. reckless abandon. My favorite. Uh, Bar. <laughs> Do you want to continue to watch the large Goliath chase? It's really entertaining. Is there a, a church or something in this town? Like there a, there a temple across from the tavern. Why? I'll go over to the temple. Why? Because I'm going to learn more about the deity. Okay, that's a good idea. Go There's squirrels. Inside the tavern, Ranger. Uh, give me an insight check, please. D20 ah, is inside. I just want to go to the church. You're chasing a squirrel. What the hell? No, it's fine. Oh. Not much better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear nothing currently uh, pertaining to the deity. Uh, insight check on the bard, please. That is a 16. See, that's how you cheat. <laughs> Uh, 16. You can't uh, be numbers, so it's perfect. You know, I'm pretty sure there's a crack in this, and I'm probably going to be drinking glass by the end of the night. Uh, okay, Bard, uh, you reach uh, one of the clergy members, and they uh, come up and they greet you warmly and ask you your business. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm venturing in. I heard there was a, uh, a nice spectacle to see about town around this <laughs> festival. Well, Sarah. I wouldn't call it a spectacle. It is a sad fact of life. But we do what we must here in Trounce because the deities want us that, to do that. All the deities want you to sacrifice there a child? There's one deity, Bard. You should know this by now. Well, you just said deities. This is a... Blasphemer! Blasphemer! I call him out. In front of <laughs> Wait, stay Which on the down low. <laughs> We've got a Goliath chasing their tracks, a deaf ranger, and a bard calling out the local clergyman. Uh, the deities by which I refer to are those of the Gemstone clan. You infidel. And you know what? Uh, just give me a straight up D20. That's a nine. Mine's a seven, so he's not going to throw you out yet. All right, well, I'll see you later. Hey, what time is the sacrifice? I mean, uh, ceremony, I mean, festival happening? It is tomorrow at high noon. In the morning, we give the child its last meal, march it into the rift, and put it upon the post. Whereupon... With the help of ore, our tribute will be taken and our mind will continue to flourish. Now, is there good seating for the event when the child gets ripped away or do we have to leave before that happens? You may follow in the procession behind, but no one, and I mean no one, cue the movie Rudy, comes into our house and watches it. But you guys watch? Or watches. Oh, uh, okay. And then we return later in the evening. That sounds like a great time. Uh, do you celebrate at all or no? The death of a child? No. Yeah. No, don't. You don't make it a happy event and then the child, you know, at least he would die a happy death. There's no fun in the word death. Only in funeral. Cutting back over to the Goliath. The Goliath has made three trips around the building. Uh, give me another intelligence check, please. Oh, okay. D20 again? That's, is that a D20? That's a, you can roll it. No. It's not going to help you. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> I'm going to do again. Or wait, it's a five. 
But then minus, minus three. three into two. Yep. You two. are dumb. <laughs> You're real dumb. It's fun. That thing, though, this whole child being killed, I don't, I'm not, it's not registering. So clearly, I don't know. Clearly, you are distracted easily. Mm -hmm. It's great. I would like to meet up with the ranger and discuss a plan how we switch the Goliath out for the child, disguising him as a child. I mean, seven and a half feet tall. Sure. Inside, give me uh, one more insight check, ranger. Let's see if you pick up anything. Everybody's quiet today. Nobody wants to talk to the ranger, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ranger, you notice that your traveling companion, the Bard of Valor, has returned back inside. Uh, behind him, as the door shuts with snow blowing in, you see the hulking figure of the Goliath saying, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, and yes. around the building again. Uh, Bard and Ranger, you are together. What would you like to discuss? I want to know what the Bard found out. <laughs> Yo, what'd you find out? Uh, they're going to give the kid his last meal tomorrow morning. And then march him out and sacrifice him midday. Okay, so what's his last meal going to be? Oh, hemlock cookies. <laughs> what a wink, folks, for mature audiences only. So do we get to watch this whole thing? Do we get to see the deity? I don't think anyone does. They just... March the kid out there, leave him screaming and crying, and uh, let the deity watch. I think I cry bullshit. I think it's a child uh, child for sale. I take, uh, I'll take perception checks from both the ranger and the bard, please. Yes, that's why it's weird. I was confused. Okay. <laughs> uh, I add anything to mine? Yeah, 21. Perception bonus. Uh, down like that doesn't add up, and that would be very odd. Well, I got a, I rolled a fourteen. Okay, so you're good. Uh, both of you here outside as a patron walks in. You hear <laughs> squirrel, squirrel, <laughs> and the yeah. Goliath continues to wander around the building. Well, he'll be busy for a while. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. Okay, stay up all night. So, so you have uh, successfully achieved a little bit of information. You know that the uh, event is going to occur inside the rift, not on the outside. Uh, but that is all you have managed to come up with with a plethora of shitty rolls. Congratulations. I'll take insight checks from all of you. Well, no, not, not the Goliath. Oh, not you. <laughs> <laughs> you've entertained yourself all night. You don't have to do much at all. You're 20 minutes into it, and all you've done is walk around a fucking building. <laughs> yeah. Ten. Well, she does have the speak with animals spell, so if she ever catches it, she can talk to it. I, I can talk to it even if I don't catch it. <laughs> I think she's talking to it now, or he's talking yeah. to it now. Uh, the ranger... Uh, must need new batteries in the hearing aid. The tin is good enough to hear uh, some scuttlebutt about uh, whether or not the deity is real or not. Uh, apparently this outsider questions the god of or, and he has ruffled a few feathers. It appears as though a bar fight is going to commence shortly. I'd like to step outside. Mm -mm. <laughs> and, uh, hey, God, the squirrel ran inside. It's up this guy's pants. No, it's right there. Sorry, I see it right there. No. I'm really convincing. It's over there. No. Inside that guy's well, pants. Go ahead and persuade. All right. No, can't do it. Persuasion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean,. <laughs> As I say that, the squirrel is right there next to My, yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really dumb. You know, you know, uh, go ahead and roll a straight up D20 for me. I did pass oh, my wait, high gun? exam. Go. Go. Roll. Why? Because we don't like it. I'll be explained shortly. Okay. 
13. I got a two. At that particular moment, a squirrel happens to bound its way towards the open door to try and get warm, and you spot it. No. Come back. Come back. I can talk to you now. Come back. Are you using your speak with animals ability? Yeah. <laughs> I need to get warm, dude. And he bounds in and goes over to the fire. Right. You can join us because you're a person. <laughs> you gotta follow a squirrel. Uh, so, Joe, would you like to come inside? No, I don't. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you realize you're trying to save a child, right? But I don't think that registers. I don't think that registers with any of the three of you, quite frankly. But he doesn't care about the squirrel at all? I mean, come on. Maybe this wasn't the squirrel. That he Imagine the dirt interest. that are on the feet of this squirrel. Oh, yeah, I like people's feet. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> so are you coming in? Fine. Okay, all three of you were in there, uh, Connor and Go, while you guys were discussing the pro-con solution of coming in out of the cold, the ranger, Darkheart, has noticed that the argument has become quite heated and punches are about to be thrown. Would anybody like to step in and separate the two or just sit back and watch it happen? Okay, Rage. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to separate the, not start the fight? Yeah, I'll rage. Yeah, I'll rage. Yeah. Rage. Is a squirrel in danger? Not, yes. Not in its current position. Okay. I'd like to go sit next to the squirrel and watch. Okay, fair enough. Darkheart goes over by the chimney, warms herself by the fire, and hangs out with the squirrel. Uh, Guh begins to rage. And what does the bard want to do? I would like to shoot <laughs> the blasphemer in the face with a hand crossbow. Ooh. Oh my God, I hope it's a one. <laughs> Are people surprised by this? Oh, yes. Everybody is going to be surprised that somebody is using an edge weapon inside a tavern over an argument. Go ahead. Kill him. Nine. Sixteen. Does Can my bird speak to you know, there are animals? No. What was it? Eleven. Uh, Eleven's not going to be good enough to hit this guy, and it separates the two. Uh, give me a persuade or give me an intimidation check. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> uh, that is a twelve. We having a problem here, boys? Thirteen. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Blaspheming against the great ore. We'll go initiative, because this guy is going to bare knuckle box you. Oh, right. Where are you going? I'm getting some real dice that don't work. <laughs> Would the ranger like to play or sit back and enjoy <sighs> Are you going to join the fray? I, I will. Mm -hmm. I will come up and try to mediate. What does uh, that mean? But do you want oh, to yeah. step in and help the bard, or do you want to sit back and relax? I'm already raging, so yeah, I'm gonna fight. Okay, so you guys are gonna kick the shit out of this one lone blasphemer. Fair enough. But yes, uh, I'm a dark heart. Roll initiative, please. Yeah. Oh, for the love of God. There's a table edge there. Ten. Nineteen. Ten. Kyle? Twenty-one. Twenty-one self. So. Okay. Uh, go for it, Bard. You uh, have vastly uh, beaten me on initiative. I come at you like an old-timey pugilist. Even though you shot an arrow at me. I'd still like to try and gut shot him. This seems like the right action. I don't... A bard? Really? Well, I... Aren't you supposed to sing to him or something? 
I'm not that kind of bar. Uh yes, okay. Um nineteen. Yeah, that gets him. Okay. Ooh, that's like different colors. Yes. They're mostly different colors. Um uh, fifteen points of damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that really rings him up. Uh, Darkheart, the ranger's up next with a 19. I say don't speak bad about the god or. Uh, do you want to use weapons, uh, Darkheart, or punch? Or uh, mediate? You can trade out if you want. I'm just looking. I would like to try to mediate. Fair enough. This guy has a crossbow bolt sticking out of his stomach. Uh, what would you like to do? <laughs> Okay, um, is that one? <laughs> I can. I know it's tough to ignore the, the seduction. seduction but... right. Yeah. Um. I just like those vibes. No, that's fine. I guess I could try to cure wounds. This has been my bad. <laughs> well, now it's gonna be my good. You can. You can do that. That's that would be perfectly acceptable. I okay. So, go ahead and see if you can touch him. Just a regular tackle. Twenty. Oh, uh, first nap 20 of the night. Boom! Uh, okay, uh, roll a d8 for me, please. Let's see how much you heal him for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't get yep. And something cool. Happens. Three. Uh, uh, let's see here. Connor, uh, your traveling associate has just laid hands on the individual and healed him for some hit points back. Gah, the Goliath Barbarian. You are up. What would you like to do? One of your associates has decided to shoot him in the liver. The other one has tried to cure him. I'm going to throw a trident. Go ahead. Okay. I don't know. Uh, D20. Plus. Mm-hmm. To nine. Nope. Sweet <laughs> the good news is, though, you have hit the 17, the bullseye, and the eight on the dartboard behind the guy. Uh, a prize. It is my guy's turn. Uh, let's see. I am going to. Okay. I am going to thank Darkheart the Ranger, and I am just going to haul back and try and punch the bard in the mouth. Don't do that. Uh, 15. That just misses. Swing and a miss as I knock off the chin hairs. Uh, let's roll for initiative for round two as the people aren't sure what to do. Ugh, four. Ooh. Oh no, seven. Seventeen. Seven, seventeen. What is Kyle's? Twenty-two. You're up. I am just going to intimidate him now. It's like, I already shot you in the gun once for talking bad. Say it again, I'll shoot you again. Intimidate me. <laughs> yes. Uh, that is an 18. He cowers in fear at the threat, also from the blood loss, and lives back into the ranger's arms like the Madonna statue. <laughs> he decides to wave off and stop with his Blaspheming. Uh um, like, praise or everybody, praise or uh now let's see if Gus is smart enough to realize that the fight is over. Gus, give me an uh you know what? I'll give you a break. Give me a wisdom roll, please. Because you are raging. Mm-hmm. Um plus your wisdom. Which you do have. Where where is that? It says wisdom. Oh, uh, is that negative one? No, it's just one. One. Twenty. Twenty. You calm yourself down. You've lost the rage for the day, but you do not. You do have the ability to know. Okay, this guy is giving up. Now, if you still want to hit him, I don't care. But I'm gonna go hug the squirrel. Okay, Lenny. <laughs> Not too hard. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Uh, the rage dissipates. The barbarian steps away. 
Uh, I am cowering in fear. Dark Heart the Ranger yeah. joins us. Uh, I'd like to ask him, so why are you saying this deity isn't real? Or why are you blaspheming? I'm an atheist. I've never been in a foxhole. <laughs> That's the, it? What have the deities ever done for me? Nothing. <gasps> They're like war. What's it good for? Nothing. Absolutely <gasps> no. Well, you're willing to get your ass beat over this uh, argument, so... With respect, your asshole associate used a ranged weapon on me and failed to fight me barefisted, in which I went... We're in a bar, I can ass. hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so other than your atheism you have no reason to to think that this thing isn't real no i came here to work in the mine okay so has how has that been for you <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been working for me it hasn't been it hasn't been working for me well maybe that's because we need to sacrifice the kid sure, sure. i don't see why killing a crotch goblin Blake, you're welcome. Uh, would satisfy any reason for me to be uh, positive or negative. So, is there anybody else that you know that feels this way? The squirrel. <laughs> the, the squirrel. It sounds weird. They keep killing these kids every year. So, after uh, ten years, I had a squirrel might know. Yeah. This walnut is delicious, by the way. Yeah. The, the squirrel does uh, that. It does not understand why uh, you sacrifice children when, as we all know, a five-year-old is tender and probably good, good eating. Yeah, you don't have to braise them or anything. It's like veal, or what is it? Yeah, it's yeah, veal. veal. Yeah. Yeah. Five-year-olds like veal. Did they just say a five-year-old's like veal? Yeah, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., folks. Uh, so, with that, uh, the initial individual would like to thank... Uh, the bar. Thank you, Reverend Fowler. I appreciate your uh, progress in sparing our deity any lamentations, although I have to question your veracity. You won't when you believe in a God this much and a God has changed your life as much as it has mine. You, you uh, defend him ferociously. Bar Augustine, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so uh, he thanks you and offers to buy you a beverage. I accept. Uh, he buys you a beverage, uh, welcomes you over to his table, does not offer the ranger a seat because she actually killed him. <laughs> And of course, uh, you know what? Well, give me an animal handling roll there, go. Let's see how much pressure you're doing patting that squirrel on the head. I'm very, very gentle. I'm sure that you think that. I'm extremely gentle. And the, um, the roll is. Wait, wait, what, what is. Animal handling. Animal so your handling. skills are right there. I'm 23, please. With a natural. Oh, very delicate with I the, told uh, you. Yes. Oh. The squirrel seems to be enjoying your company immensely. Nice. Very nice. He's perched on my shoulder. Yeah, that's, that's our second nap. Does he have anything else to say? Yeah, Me? does the squirrel have anything the squirrel? else? Mm-hmm. The squirrel oh, wants to know if you have seen D's nuts. Um, <laughs> yeah, got him. Oh, God, don't pull your pants up. God, keep your pants up in the bar, please. <laughs> uh, You're right here. Couples D&D, &D, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it rolls. Uh, so, Bard, uh, how long mm -hmm. have you been a follower of Orr? Well, I was here uh, uh, several, several, uh, a child myself in this town. Uh, but I had to leave for some odd reason that I'm making up right now. I see. That's not a lot. Yeah. Uh, my my poor poor brother was sacrificed, but the gems that we got afterwards 
was, you know, it was a great sacrifice that yeah, way. Maybe this is a really bad concept. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, to be fair, he was an asshole, and my parents didn't miss him anyway. I was the golden child, obviously. Obviously, the parents liked you more. Well, we appreciate your family's sacrifice, and mm -hmm. praise or uh, praise, hopefully, praise, praise. Hopefully, uh, tomorrow's sacrifice will be just, just as fruitful for all of us. Agreed. Are you going yeah. to the spectacle? Uh, yes, I have been asked to go to the spectacle. Oh, uh, but I was told that uh, we had to be behind the procession and. Correct. Yeah, you know, I remember a few years ago we were allowed to watch, but I, don't I guess that. you don't remember that. No. I, it must have been just the family thing. Well, the family is always welcome. Of course, yes. What do they say in the Mandalorian? I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, the family is always able to say their last goodbyes. Some. As you well know, uh, go ahead and pursue that. Others do not. Yeah. Yes. Are there Is refreshments? Are going to watch the thing or no? I I'm sorry. I'm pondering the refreshments <laughs> comment. Yes, yes, we serve pig in a blanket. <laughs> Are there other, is there a concession stand? Yes. Yeah. There's, there's a guy selling duck scratchers. No, I mean, like. You mean like at the at the thing at the at the? You are oh, going to the carnival. Yeah. <laughs> They're killing a five-year-old. You know what? This, okay. This, this entire concept. To be fair, you I called it a festival, not a ceremony. I need a funnel cake. <laughs> okay. How about this? Everybody. Is there are there, oh, there vendors that sell you know things for the deity? Oh, this was such a bad idea. Just a horrible <laughs> idea. You know what, young DMs, uh, when you reach a bad idea, fuck it, just plow, plow through. Uh, no, there will not be any concessions. That's there. what he said. <laughs> no, there will not be any vendors, although um, I'm sure there will be some along the parade route. This is a horrible idea. Do they flagellate themselves? I'm gonna eat all of this right now. <laughs> okay, all three of you are there. The squirrel has had enough warming and tells you uh, that it would like to leave and go find some more of these nuts. Got him. Do you, okay, fair enough. He jumps down and hauls ass out of the way. Wait, the squirrel's doing the way? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chris, thank you for playing. <laughs> Is marijuana use legal in India? <laughs> it's fine. The squirrel will be fine. Good, you need to do a lot more of this. But I need a friend. So we can wonder if her camera froze. <laughs> We're your friends. We're your friends. We're your friends till the bitter end. Oh, I would like to go back outside if it pleases God. I say we go find the dad. Yeah. Well, we came in with the dad, so is the dad watching the procession or no? No, he bailed on us when we got here. Yeah, he did. He, he was left as soon as you hit town because he didn't See, want it to look suspicious. And you could say, hey, uh, my brother was a sacrifice. I just want to talk to you how you feel about this. Oh, I'm like Nassau. Folks at home, there were uh, six physical encounters in this scenario tonight. We had none and we're 40 minutes into it so the fight in the bar was accidental uh okay so do you want to go find the father can i ask uh uh my friend at the bar where the family is staying this night um so that we may um congratulate them and offer our condolences for their loss and their great amazing sacrifice that they are preparing for all of us the family tally whacker is two blocks down on the left. What's a tally whacker? You weren't going to give it to him anyway. Um, 
Uh, okay, how about this? Uh, the Morningwood family is two blocks down on the left. Oh, okay. I think I'm talking to Guh now. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I think Guh even got that one. <clears throat> so the Morningwood family is two blocks down on the left. Oh, does the entire family stay there? Yeah. Yeah. Even Man, the kid? Do you think some of the family would, you know, try to escape after all these? I know my family didn't because we were loyal to Orr and this town. Praise Orr. Praise, praise. Well, as you but, well I mean, know, uh, the tribute is in the temple. Uh, um, under safeguard and keep because I hear someone tried to escape last year. I did not hear that. This only happens every 10 years. Deception check. Shit. I've been made. Oh, yes. 21. Have you suffered a head wound lately? Yeah, you look at my look at my companion. <laughs> Have you been chasing squirrels around the building too much? Once or twice, yes. Uh, I see. Yes, if you have forgotten, this festival only happens in 10 years. Mind you, you're the one calling it a festival, not a ceremony. Depends That's not a celebration. Huh? Depends That's on who you talk to. Yeah, okay. I meant 10 years of course. Uh, 10 years ago, of course. I will so, accept so. your uh, accidental misfire. So, are you going to visit the Morningwood family? Oh, of course, yes. Uh, you're right. It's getting late. We should probably do that sooner rather than later. Oh, pew, pew. <laughs> For those of you who watch shit, my dad says... Uh, fair enough. The directions are accurate if you'd like to go down that way. All right. Thank you. Hey, uh, God, do you want to follow me to the morning, the Dick family? Yeah. All right. To the morning, Dick family. Morning, Dick. Dick morning. morning. Wood. <laughs> Not morning, Dick. The Peter morning slumber. Peter slumber <laughs> family. <laughs> this is going to be a Family Guy episode before it's over. Okay, okay. Uh, you go two blocks down, and there is a house, and they've taken uh, a big piece of lumber, and it says more and wood, and it's been carved, and it's really nice. I think they got a pottery bowl. Ooh, a luck. Um, the individual who initiated the hire sees you. Looks around, looks around and invites you in. in. The rest of the family really does not understand, understand that you have been hired by him because they are all deep in mourning. Yes, I immediately, before I even go into that, I'm like, praise, praise, or and so it doesn't look suspicious that we came in. This causes the mother of the child to weep incessantly. <laughs> So uh, what are we doing the kid when we get him out of the sacrifice? Well, you need to stop the deity's mission, and then we can go ahead and pass it off as Or's judgment. Oh. That was oh. part of the agreement. So no, you guys get to watch this, though? We are forced to watch it. It is not a celebration or a festival, as some, including the DM, would have you believe. This is a tragedy. Tragedy! So, have you talked to other family members that have been forced to watch it? No. Do you know you any? Find extra family members from out of town, like your Uncle Bob Gah, the Goliath. Can you sneak us in as family members, is what I'm saying. Uh, I suppose I could. It, as long as no one's dealt with the uh, people at the temple, it should be fine. Are you going to go Fred Gus? Everyone but me? Yeah, no, you are. You're, yes, you're going to. I also have, I also, I also oh have in, a cousin, and his name is, is George Gus. And, and my other cousin, his name. Have is... you ever heard of a group of goblins that go by the Duke clan name? There's a bunch of them, too. Yeah, All right. No, he's a real and... dick. Ooh. Hey, who is a barbarian? Oh, no. 
We're talking about now, now, now. Remember, remember, this is a safe space. This is a safe space. Everybody <laughs> is allowed to say what they what they have on their mind. It's a safe space. I want to talk to a family that's been through this. I want to see what they. I want to hear what they saw. Apparently, Kyle's Bard family has, because he's a liar. Yeah. Uh, the only other family is the uh, Johnson family. <laughs> and then, so there are two more blocks down, and they're on the left as well. All right, we go to the big Penises family. I figured as much. Uh, what, about, what about the tiny kittens family down the hill? Huh? <laughs> the tiny kittens family has not had a death yet. Apparently, their family's a bunch of pussies. <laughs> I thought you meant literal kittens, and I was regretting <laughs> saying that. I'm the innocent one in this relationship. Yeah, sure. Right. Uh, so, uh, so, do you guys want to go to the Johnson clan or the feline family? I like Johnson, so let's go to the Johnsons. Who wants to knock on the door? I will. Uh, a large man answers the door and he goes, can I help you? Um, he can only see your Adam's apple go because you are too tall for the roof. You're the guy out of uh, Naked Gun. <laughs> you got a little something there. And then the whole banana falls. <laughs> I'd like to ask you some questions about your family's sacrifice. Okay. Ten years ago, not one year. Yes, it, it has been a decade since little Harry Johnson <laughs> was offered in sacrifice. Um... We've been told that you've been forced to watch this. Actually, it was an option given to us. Uh, we did. Uh, we opted to decline because watching little Harry Johnson be ravished by a creature of unknown power, praise or, uh, was not something that we could have handled. Do you know any family that did choose to watch it? There was a family whose ch second child grew up to be a bard. I think they watched it. That's what I heard. Are they still in town? Uh, no, they left. No. <sighs> okay. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. If you need anything else, I'm Big Harry Johnson. Awesome. And what's your wife's name? Uh, Mrs. Harry Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> will you be there tomorrow? Uh, we will follow the procession in uh, Give uh, those folks our condolences, but we will not stick around. I have to look like a loving couple. Good to know. No, don't touch me that much. Don't get off of me. Okay. Can you recommend any lodging in this place? Uh, there's a back room at the tavern that might be available. Uh, mm, okay. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Safe travels. Safe okay, travels. how far away is, <laughs> is oh. the sacrificial place? The rift, uh, the yeah. entrance to the rift is about two miles away. So we could get there at night, sabotage the post. Everyone marches there and we act all surprised when the post is gone. You could. Or doesn't want any more sacrifices. You could. Is, is that... Why not? Sure, let's travel through a snowy rift at night in the dark. Uh, you know what? Oh, wait, wait, Can we make on. Gaga go first? Well, it's a full Bobby. moon. Awesome. I hate these dice. It's full moon. <laughs> Is the wind blowing enough that our tracks will disappear? Or can our ranger do something to hide our tracks? Mm -hmm. the, ranger, I have, the ranger should be able to hide tracks. I have fog cloud. Okay. There is only a light breeze, but the ranger's skilled in tracking, so she may be able to go ahead and use her abilities to cover it up. Give me a d20 roll and well, add nature. Check. So would you like to go in the middle of the map? All right, I'm switching. 
Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Um, the father was going to pay us 200 gold pieces and gems. Each. Can I ask for Guz payment in advance? You can ask. I would like to. No. I said, it's all part of my plan. If it works, we should have no problems whatsoever. The why parade's going to happen, and when they get there, it'll be great. Why are you just? Why are you speaking for me? I'm not speaking for you. He's stealing think... your money. Yeah, you're stealing your <laughs> money. I don't want. I don't. I just want to look at you. I don't want money. Yeah, he's he's not going to pay early. <laughs> gonna pay us her share. His. Is yeah, I know. I saw those nuts at the tavern and every other fucking tavern since I've met him. Got him. <sighs> if he's not going to pay ahead of time, it's not going to do us any good to go there. Well, I mean, sacrificing the post, cutting it down, being like, yeah, no, they don't want sacrifices anymore, might still be enough. So what are we doing? Are we going to ask for money or are we going to do the post? Well, he already asked for the money. And yeah. the, money's a, the money's a no go. Not going to happen. Okay. All right. So let's go chop this post down. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, you want to ask or you just want to wander the frontier? We have a ranger. She's amazing at finding posts in the woods at night. Yeah, she's right. been rolling twos. <laughs> <laughs> can I send my crow up? You can send your crow up. Or raven. Crow? I do. We're not eating crow. Can I no. Yet? Sure, go ahead and send the crow up. Do uh, nature do it to advantage. One more roll. All right, I'm on to my third set. Oh my gosh. Uh, the crow goes up and is buffeted by heavy winds higher in the stratosphere and cannot locate said post. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, would you like to venture out and see if you can find this lumber? This big stick. This well, we know the general down. direction, and there's a rift, so you walk along the edge of the rift until you see a big wooden bowl. Well, uh, I will take nature checks from all three of you. All right. Why don't you give us a nature check here? Yeah, it would be amazing at those. Mm -hmm. I rolled a one. I guess not. Nature. Nine. One. Two ones and a nine? You guys don't find shit. <laughs> you, you know what? You actually go the opposite way. <laughs> and you know what? Fuck it. We're going to start this. Initiative, everybody. You guys have to roll at disadvantage. Because this polar bear is going to kick the fuck out of you guys. Or both those dice. Oh? Mm-hmm. 17. <laughs> The lower number this time. Uh -huh. Initiative. So two plus two. Wait, the twenty yours? No, you rolled a disadvantage. She rolled a twenty and a two, so four for her. Wow. And you? I rolled a nine. Now did you roll two dice and seventeen was your dice? Huh. That's and that's better. Okay, uh, the polar bear jumps out, and it goes after uh, one to two the ranger, three to four the bard, five to six the barbarian. Three, it's going after the bard. Uh, it gets two attacks, so the second attack is going to be on the four, bard. Are <laughs> sure you said barbarian? I'm pretty sure it was bard. A three and a four is a bard, so... Uh, claws, do you want the claws to be red or yellow? Red. Huh. Uh, the claws are a three. The bite is a 17. Plus seven, 24. Does a 24 hit you? No. Oh, okay. 
Uh, uh, since it doesn't hit you, it only does ooh, 13 hit points of damage as it bites you in the face. Uh, first up is the ranger with a 10. And then you to kill the bear. Night er. Oh, yeah. no. thirteen. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Or no. To be able to talk to a bear. Well, we've it's already killing. been doing this. Thirteen is five. Eighteen. Okay, yeah. Do your damage. Mm. Yep. What? This one? No. One D six. Nice. My hand crossbow. Oh, plus three. Murder Hobo Dice is doing the thing. So how much? Eight. Uh, eight. Barbarian, you are up with a nine. No, no, no. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, the Bard had the nine. Yeah, no. Bard's up. Uh, Bard, you have just gotten your face bit off. I'm going to Disneyland. This show is not affiliated with Disneyland. Are you sure about that? I'm Absolutely Absolute sure. We <laughs> figure that one out. Don, Don, Don Julio might be associated with us. Ooh. 15 hit. 15 does hit. Okay. That is uh, 17. Nice. Nicely done. And I will also cast Healing Word at second level on myself. I am feeling a lot better. <laughs> Barbarian, uh, you have just watched your associate get bit in the face. What would you like to do? Scream, stop it, polar bear. Stop it. Okay. That's it. Are you right. intimidating the polar bear or persuading the bear? Are you raging at it? Oh. Oh. No, I'm not raging at it because it's a polar bear and it's an animal. I only rage at people. Mm. Um, yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. with 13 hit points really needed to be raged on. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, he did. Yeah, the uh, greedy polar bear, probably. No. You could ask it. Persuading. Okay, make your roll. Yeah. Mine's 19. Uh. Charisma. Well, persuasion, it says. 14. Yeah, he's hungry. Initiative. Again. Oh, that's not and so great. Two. And this time you'll just you'll be normal initiative. Ten. 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 Uh, twenty-four. Twenty-four starts. Yeah. Wow, oh, your skin it's flap face. hanging down. That's right. Cut me, Mick. Cut me. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this polar bear again in the face. <laughs> Is the one. Oh, it was, uh, uh, I'm shooting at disadvantage because it's right next to me. All right. So I rolled a natural 20. Yes. And, and a 19. And a what? 19. <laughs> so I hit it. But yeah, I'm really sad. You did the old west quick draw. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 20. Rifleman. Ouch. Okay, Wait. the bite goes after Five, it goes after the barbarian. The claws go after him. Five. The barbarian, barbarian. Uh, what color do you want the claws to be? Red or yellow? Me? Yes. She's a Goliath. Red. Goliath barbarian. The claws, the claws are red? red. Yes. Huh. 17 and 19. Yes. Both? Yes. Okay. You just got hit. You're being eaten by a polar bear because you tried to tell him to stop. I'm going to keep telling him to stop it. Actually, she only suffers 12 because I rolled like crap. All right. Hit point maximum, which is up here. It bites you in the face and then proceeds to tear its claws into your shoulder. Okay. Uh, you and the ranger both got a 10, so you and the ranger can attack. Oh, you can attack or... I got three. Tell the polar bear to stop again. I'm going to say, stop it, polar bear. You stop it! 
It, you try that, and it sounds like... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> As its tongue goes into your nasal passage. I don't think the polar bear cares what you're telling it anymore. Okay, I don't care. Okay. Um, but... You could try to grapple and restrain the polar bear. How do I do that? You say, hi, Frank. I would like to grapple the polar bear and hold him down so he can't eat I'm going to put him, I'm going to put him in a bear hug. Oh, okay, I'm cutting your mic now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, give me a yeah, I'll put it then. for you, don't worry. Okay, so okay. roll. You do an athletic okay. bear hug. And Frank does one too. To add your athletics. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> you want the bear hug. Oh, okay. And the bear hug. The DM rolls the one. <laughs> Whisper sweet nothings in his ear. I love you. Did, what, well, on, now, what did the bear bear roll? The bear, I, 16. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I am knocked down to the ground. Uh, new one, right? All right, we're rolling again. Okay. That is good. Natural 20, 25. 15. Ooh. 15 plus 2. 20. Dirty. Dirty 20. Natural 20 is up first. Uh, I will step away from the bear now, and I will still shoot it in the face while it's crawling. <gasps> but I'm giving it a bear hug. Yep. Oh. Uh, <laughs> does a ten hit the bear? A ten does not hit it. You crochet okay. your crossbow bolt off the helmet of the Goliath barbarian, who is up next as he wrestles with the ball. Oh, okay. Now, now releases. releases. I'm not releasing it. It needs to succumb. So you'll you have to. to my love. So what are you doing? I'm going to continue grappling and hugging. I'm a bear hug. You know, uh, well, it's, uh, it's already grappled. Oh, it's already grappled? Okay. Yeah. Can I stroke it lovingly to make it calm down? Does that work? Can I do that? Okay. <laughs> Funny, I guess. Uh, give me a nature roll. Let's see how good your uh, bear <laughs> stroking is. Bear oh, isn't that animal handling? You know what? Yes, yes you are correct. 13. 13? Yeah. Well, you didn't find any of its goodies, so okay. Uh, it is now the bear's turn to try and break the grapple. Uh, you roll a d20 again. Oh. And add your athletics. Again? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> um, wait. Three, eight. Is so what are you? Eleven. I am still grappled, and that brings us to Darkheart the Ranger. Uh... What? Can I cure to... wounds on the bard? Uh, oh, you no! Can, you sacrifice the detect magic spell. No, that's why you're. In that's fine. No, it was it was a. This is what the fact. Yeah, you were calming him down. No, no, that's not calming him down. That's getting him excited. You nasty, the nasty, balls. nasty person. Uh, she, she rolled high enough. Uh, uh, bard, your ranger companion has. Healed you for eight. Uh, ten. Ten. Woo! Ten hit points from the loving touch. New last round, most likely. Finish. Twenty. Nineteen. She did that all herself. Uh, Twenty-four. Did what all herself? Twenty-four is first up. This bear is really wounded. Nope. Uh, night, or I'm sorry, 20 is up next. That's the uh, But I am going to in. Well, no, no. No. Okay. No, yeah. inspire. Go no. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, 
Barbarian, you're up next. <laughs> and remember, you are still grappling, but not cupping the bear. I'm not Yet. cupping anything. Just, just speak saying. nice words to it. Exactly. I'm just speaking very nice and affirming words. People like you, Dan. You are good enough. You are a good bear. You deserve happiness. You should roll higher if that were true. Uh, <laughs> uh, turn to break grapple. Okay. Roll your d20 again. Uh -huh. 16. Uh, where's that? Oh, the bear breaks free. 15. Uh, and I just spoke last round. Now maybe this is the last round. Initiative. Okay. Why don't you use your blue and white one? Right. Mm. Three. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> she rolled a, a three with a natural one. Wow. I got a 21. Uh, that 20 is up first. <laughs> yeah, that dice will be nicer to me. Uh, yes, that hits. And then what? Damn. Damn. Which one? Six. D6. Six. Plus what? Uh, plus five. <laughs> that one hurt. Uh, you're a bard. I shoot it in the face. Does a 12 hit? A 12 barely hits. Oh. Barely. <laughs> that is a uh, 16. That's enough. You shot it in the eyeball. <laughs> it was her. No, I yes, just shot, her, shot her, her in the back of the head. Or you shot the Goliath in the back of the head and it shot from and killed the polar bear. Is it dead? No. It's dead? It is dead. It is dead. Aww. Everybody roll an insight check. So sad. You want to try rolling the one that... No! <laughs> so maybe this was the thing killing kids? Uh, 13. 10. All three of you realize... realize... Wait. Uh, we're at the wrong end of town. We were rolling inside. Oh, okay. Just kidding. Not ten. Nine. Uh, you don't know where you're at. Squirrel? Squirrel? There's no squirrel? Uh, but the ranger and the bard realize that uh, we're south of town. We need to be north. Let's go that way. Or we could cast directions on our way through town to get to the north side. But do you think that would be a good idea? You're right. It isn't. Let's go around town and head north. There you go. Are you just going to leave the carcass there? Right. Is there a rift? On the other side of town, there is. Uh, Does anybody need to eat? You can leave it for the buzzard. The, the snow buzzard. The squirrel. Does the squirrel eat polar bear? Uh, no, the squirrel's not carnivorous. Mm. The Goliath squirrel might be. If only we could catch that elusive squirrel. <laughs> Challenge accepted. It's on the north side of town. Hey, send my crow back up. Sure, go ahead and give me a nature check with your crow. I am going to inspire the crow. Doesn't need it. The crow uh, catches a a uh, nice little air current and leads you to the rift. Now it's yeah, probably pushing 9, 10 o'clock at night here. So uh, you do see the rift. It goes uh, down at an incline and it appears as though there are fresh tracks. What kind of tracks? Army tracks. Barbie tracks? Army. Army. Moose tracks. It, it's from uh, the movie stripes. stripes. So, so uh, it looks as though uh, human feet have uh, passed by this area in the last several hours. Fuckers. In it. What happened to the fuckers? 
Uh, there have been... I was extra- explaining the movie to her. Yeah, no. oh. uh, there are You're human cool. tracks uh, several hours old headed down into the rift. But not heading back out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Works that way. Oh, okay. Well, let's go down. <laughs> Don't go break in my heart. <laughs> Uh, you head down into the rift, and show enough, uh, there is a platform uh, down about a mile into the rift. It's got two poles and some chains on it. The chains are fairly well oiled as if uh, in preparation. Uh, and they also have some uh, inserts on the manacles so that it will fit a small child's hand. Wow. But do we see anybody? Nope. Nobody's there. Do we hear anybody? Uh, I will take an insight check. Can it be a perception check? Uh, I'll give you a perception if you want. That's uh, good enough. Dirty 20. Gur. 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 Do you see anybody? Oh. Uh, or see any squirrels? That Goliath squirrel could be just around the corner. Uh, what, what did I... Perception. Perception. Four points. Five. Notices that it starts to snow and then realizes that he is looking down. Uh, the bard and the ranger both notice movement along the edge of the river. Moments later, a trio of arrows plunks down a good fifteen to twenty feet ahead of you. What the heck? Where'd the arrows come from? Yeah. The edge of the rift. They like the opposite end or freaking the platform end? You, you are down in the rift. They came from up along the ridge line. I did not. I would like to call out praise, praise, praise or we uh, came to uh, bring you boys some alcoholic beverages. Help you keep warm through the night. Uh, go and uh, Darkheart, what would you like to do? Uh, I'll go along with his bullshit. <laughs> go. I'm going to run screaming. You what? Run screaming. Okay, which direction? <laughs> would you like to charge the archers? Would you like to run away from the run archers? Away. Would you like to run into the rift? Uh, into or out of the rift are your only choices if you're trying to run away. Well, there you go. Wait, what? Into, into the rift deeper or out of the rift where you just came from? Uh, in, in, okay. in. Okay. I, I change, I change, I hunker down into a turtle like. <laughs> you should have picked the turtle race then. <laughs> just a turtle myself. Okay, I will uh, re-angle my arrow fire. On Razor, she gets scared from. He gets scared from arrows. On the ranger. Ah, so the A four. And a twelve. All three of you are still out of range. Uh, I will take insight check from all three of you. Twenty-three. Fourteen. Nice. Uh, go and nope. Nope. ten. Yay. Uh, go <laughs> and Connor both notice these are goblin arrows. Oh, how far away are they? They are right at the edge of a long uh, shot. So maybe 161 feet away. How deep? I can is make the rift? that. Uh, the rift is about 30 feet deep at this point. It goes deeper the further you go in. And okay. how tall am I? Seven. So 30 divided by seven. Oh, it's going to hurt. Well, it kill me, though. You could rage before you hit the ground. Woo! That's a good idea. That's how I survive. You survive out of sheer double luck. <laughs> Damn, skip me. <laughs> We're boring the DM. Mm-hmm. I'd like to dead. point at one of the goblins. I'm going to cast True Strike on. 
Okay. And then I'm going to get ready to shoot them next round. Okay. Unless you want to go ahead and make it right now. Uh, let's see what the other two are doing. Go, what are you doing? I am raging and running into the rift. Fair enough. Uh, Darkheart, are you going to take a shot with your bow? Yes. Fire at will, fire at will, fire at will. <sighs> okay. I am a shitty ranger. <laughs> New round, I'll fire at you guys. A uh, three to Darkheart. A uh, two to Connor. Yeah. Billy O'Connor. 17 towards Gah. You're raging. But I'm raging, so. <laughs> uh, so five, two. Two hit points of damage. Two points. Oh, no. That's half, that's half. Oh, no. Uh, you guys can now... Uh, 18? 18 hits. Okay. 12. 12 hits. I need to. Uh, what's your movement speed? I don't know. 30. 30. Uh, Ga, uh, since you're charging at them, you cannot attack this round. It'll be one more round and then you can. Wait, I'm charging at them? I thought I was running away. Oh, are you running away? Into the rift. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're running away. You're out of range. Deuces. 22. Damage. Oh, yeah, it's dead. Okay. Uh, dark heart. What am I doing? Damage. This one? Uh, I suppose you could also use your uh... No, I'm running away. No, I mean when you fall into the rift. Uh -huh. When you I hit the ground, you can... Oh, get... crap. Uh, Okay. Just two. That's five. Oh, dead. Yeah. dead. Woo! God, you can come back. Uh, new round. Oh, no. uh, retreat is the better part of valor, so the goblin backs away from the edge of the rift, out of your sight, and disappears into the darkness. Meanwhile, go. Back at Hall of Justice. <laughs> God, God is still running. Do you guys want to yell to him? Stop! No! I shoot gun the ass. What? <laughs> crossbow into gun. What the hell is wrong with you? You're running. It, it's and just it. Don't think it's a goblin. It's not going to hurt that much. Yeah. It hurt a little. Yeah, 18 to hit you. You're big. I, I think 18 hits him. Yeah. 20 damage. What? Plus 10. How are you doing 20 damage on a fucking arrow? Uh, sharpshooter. Uh, okay. I'm raging, so. Who are you? You know your mic's on when you do Yeah, I know. I know. But she's so cute. It's those snarky comments, people, that you guys are missing when you're not a part of the murder hobo family. That's true. Now, she gets really mean. Who does? Her. My wife. <laughs> she just insults me all the time. Definitely not talking about the producer. Good for her. <laughs> God, you've been shot in the ass. Would you like to turn around and return back to your associates? Apparently they seem to have felt that that was the only way to... Uh, oh, wow, that did hurt you, didn't it? No! I'm run away even, even faster. Fair enough. Uh, Dark Heart and Connor, what would you like to do? Uh, Guy is charging headlong into the darkness. Guy, do you have a dark I'm going to come back, douchebag. I'm going to collect the goblin arrows and then I'm going to go down to the platform. No! no I'm what? I'm collecting the goblin arrows so there's no proof that any tampering happened. I don't want, you know, the pedestal to be gone and they're like, well, it was the goblins who did it. Let's chain the child up. No, no, no. Nothing happened. The platform fell down. No one was here last night. Mm. I'll buy that. 
Yeah, I mean, we'll also go up and, you know, clear up the goblin tracks a little bit, I think. But let's go ahead and take the platform down. You go run off to your death. My death? Dark, dark, what would you like to do? I'm not dying. Oh, you're I am living. <laughs> I'm kind of confused. So, uh, Connor, the bard, is going ahead collecting the evidence that goblins were ever here. Right. And he is going to move on to the uh, pulpit area. And are you going to destroy it? If we can. Yeah, it's just wooden pig iron, so yeah, you can hack at it and whatever. Uh, if, um, go. I'm gone. Well, you ran to the rift, and we are now going into the rift, so you're kind of cornered at this moment. Yeah. Hi. Hey, buddy. Buddy. No. Buddy, I will cast healing spells on you. You shot me. I didn't shoot you. You have no proof that I shot you. <laughs> this is your arrow, you ass. Your arrow still stuck in a <laughs> I he, I he has proof. I would like to do a little sleight of hand and be like, hey, look, this is a handful of goblin arrows. Now look, and I'll slip one of my crossbow bolts into it. Look, see, one of them is deception roll. Can I do sleight of hand? No, I, I will allow yeah. that you have sleight of hand to get the bolt in there. Oh my! Nice. Natural fucking twenty. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that was the best damn line you've ever seen. God, you are under the impression that a goblin, not your associate, who shot you in the ass. Let me do some healing on you. Hold and on then a second. Go, go ahead and roll just in case you also no. get a natural 20. No, that's no. You should roll the blue and white one. Yeah, nah. Right. Uh, it sounds very plausible that those goblin bastards have shot you in the ass. Can you believe that? Hey, we got two of them. You can lick their feet if you like afterwards. Get the dirt off their shoes. You've had, you've licked my feet already. But they shot you. Why would you want to lick their feet? Yeah, I want to lick your feet. Yeah. Let's push the pedestal. What about the polar bear's feet? Into it's, the. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why do you have such an issue with me licking your feet? <laughs> right. Why is that an issue for you, Kyle? What's the problem? I'm into ladies without nuts. I see nothing that has anything to do with sexual pleasure in me licking your feet. I have a feet fetish, and you licking my feet would arouse me. Well, And I'm afraid... Because you are not a woman. Okay, right. you know what? It's not. But that's okay problem. if you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not when my. It's not my problem. Twitch sides, <laughs> teams, whatever. I don't <laughs> want these teams. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But the thing is. You can become more secure in your sexuality. That's true. If you just let me do this in a non sexual way. But what if I'm way. attracted to it in a sexual <laughs> way? You <laughs> deal with it then. Push the pedestal <laughs> into the rift and hide any evidence first. Then we can get back to the tavern where I will lock myself in my room without you in it. <laughs> well, that's just I rude. See, I don't, I don't see where that benefits me in this DM room. are you okay <laughs> <laughs> look you so need to go ahead and mark this time friends <laughs> something this is awful <laughs> I love how everybody's just drinking at this point like no so <laughs> Gunna, have you returned from your uh, venture into the rift to help them disassemble the Yes, sure, why not? Uh, Connor and Darkheart, give me a perception check. You're an idiot. 14. 18. Uh, Darkheart notices movement 
coming in behind Ga as he returns to your group. Okay. And it's coming from in the rift. In the rift. Yes. Behind Ga. I will knock a crossbow bolt. Go, it appears as though your associate is going to fire at you again. Give me an in, uh, give me a perception check. For behind you, behind you. Now you roll perception. Roll well, please. Um, Thirteen. Good enough. You hear uh, the pitter patter of medium sized feet coming at you uh, as it sounds like icicles are stabbing the snow pack behind you. Everybody roll initiative as methods do come tearing up behind you. Five. Four total up. Nine. Nat 20 for a total of 22. Nice. Dirty 20. Uh, nat 20 beats my 22. Go ahead, go. There are two ice methods or icicle men coming up behind you. Um, I'm gonna throw my hand axe at it. At him. Fair enough. Are you still having to hit these things? Three be twenty. Shit. She misses. You'll have to go retrieve that later. Uh, the twenty-two attacks. How many of them will go after her? One of them. Uh, engages you go the other one will go after the other two who are still out of range so on you uh, I'm gonna do two claw attacks a 7 and a 13 add 3 does a 16 get you I have 3 hit points left <laughs> no, no, no 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 wait armor class your AC so 16 is higher than 15 Oh. So yes, sixteen yes. will hit. Ah, okay. Okay. So then, how many? Those oh. hit points. Oh, okay. One. Yeah. No, 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 no. I had nineteen. Sorry, I thought I thought it was sixteen hit points. Just get it. I still All rolled right. a one, so I'm so yeah. sorry. Uh, okay. Next up is the twenty, the dirty twenty. So I will. Uh, there is one running. Past him towards you and Darkheart, or there's the one on him. I will save Gus's life. Again, like I always do, because I don't ever want God to get hurt. Because you're a giver. I am. I'll lick your up later. 14 hit. Yes. Okay. I hate you. 11 to hit these things. Uh, 18. Damage? Yep. Uh, last but not least, Dark Heart. Oh, um, I will also do a healing word on Ga uh, for nine, on that one? Jesus 60 feet. Okay, you're good. Nine. Yep, nine back. Dark Heart. Just use the one. Have you gotten any hit from the second one? Yes. This one? Not good enough. One hit. New round oh. initiative, everybody. You go first. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eight. You did not beat me because I had a nine. Sixteen. Go. You're up. I'm gonna mull. I'm gonna mull. A maul like a hammer. Oh. It's a dirt clawed hammer. No, I'm gonna punch him. Yeah. Oh. Punch away. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah. Ooh. Nineteen. You hit it. Uh you're using bare hands, so D four plus uh, No no, she's using her own hands. Very nice. Nicely. Thank you. <laughs> you can now you can roll the D4. Yay! Nat 20. One. Plus four. 
So five. Yep. Uh, Gus smashes the ice creature right in the face, and upon its death, it explodes. Woo! That's fun. Yeah, yeah. But you got to roll a DC 10 versus dexterity, or you're going to take damage. Uh, yep. Because you see it happening, you get to roll both and pick the highest one. Pick the highest one. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that sucks. Seven. Plus your dexterity. Nine. Nope, nope. not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Take five more damage, but your yeah. opponent has been destroyed. Uh, next up is 14, Darkheart. Yeah, I was trying to make this button. Mm, rude. Yeah, I tried. Oh, well, yeah. Hit. Good job, Tim. Oops. Six plus. <laughs> I feel like we should like five. Uh, I am now in range. Odd, dark heart, even, counter. Eight, counter. Uh, counter, I am going to breathe a cone of cold breath at you. DC 10 versus dexterity. Save for half. Nope. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, nine. Yeah. Which three, three, six damage as it breathes cold breath on you, and it is now your turn to deal oh. with this ice creature. Is it in my face yet, or no? It is in your face. Okay, I will shoot it again. Does a 12 hit? 12 does hit. Oh, I am going to explode this thing. Does... 16 damage. It explodes. You and Darkheart need to DC 10 versus dexterity. I get it this time. So you'll take half. D20. Yep, you get half. Both of you take, uh, well, one hit point is the lowest I can go. So one, each of you take one hit point. As the creature explodes, sending shards of crystal icicles everywhere. Oh. Um, I will also spend... overtakes the rift. Oh, okay, never mind. Cool. All right, let's shove this pedestal in quickly before we all get murdered out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we gonna do to the pedestal? That's what she said. By the way, it's just wooden pig iron. Yep. The pig it's not iron hanging over a ledge, or can we just shove it off? Well, it's in the rift. It's not on the edge of the rift. It's right in the center of the rift. So whatever is coming through the rift, it, it just hits the thing dead on. But. But, but, but. So it's in the middle of the rift on something, though. Yeah, it's wooden pylons. So you have to push it over. Or chop it down. But it's iron. Only the chains that hold the manacles are iron. Can we set it on fire? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Fire. Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac. Uh, I'll take performance by all three of you. I got the cool one. 18. 17. Go. 11. 10. 11. Okay. Uh, all three of you successfully start fires, and in no time, the old wood is just billowing smoke and going up. Yeah. In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. In the middle okay. of the night. The fire is burning. And we're good, tough squirrels. We make polar bears too. <laughs> In the middle of the night. Can I step away from him and just keep an eye out for any creatures that might be flying through the rift? I'm seeing a large some bonfire. Shoes. Not my shoes. Uh, I will take uh, perception checks since you're paying attention to your surroundings. 23. Uh, it starts to snow ever so softly. Score. Mm -hmm. Fine. 
That's very romantic. Yeah, uh, burning down a pillory is always always brings out the romance. Well, the you know, snow. Do you think sacrificing a child is a festival? So. Uh, again, poorly written scenario. Should have just made it a virgin. Okay. They don't have those. Not at five years old, they don't. Oh! oh, oh. They must be from West Lafayette. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, okay, so you've got the roaring bonfire, and it's about midnight. You do not see anything other than a small snow squall coming in from the north. What would you like to do? Yeah, it makes me smart. Sure. sure. Do you have yeah. s'more equipment? Do I? Do you? I don't know. I, Maybe. I don't know. Eh, probably not. It's not on the character sheet. You don't got it. Oh, snap. You have nothing on your character sheet. Damn it. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay. How much gold do you have? 10,000. <laughs> so you took a job for 200 gold pieces. Well, to be fair, she can't count either. That's so. Not true. So she's got six. <laughs> They're actually Hershey's chocolate bars. Nice. Uh, so no, no s'mores. Would you guys like to return to town, or what would you like to do? We got to clear away the evidence once we're done. So you got to so wait, wait all night long while that thing burns. Yeah, fuck that shit. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Bye. Bye. Uh, we'll cover our tracks. Could be anybody. Everybody, yeah. everybody D20. Let's see if you smell but, like... Better smoke. yet, I'm going to throw the goblin arrows um, around the pillar where they won't get fire, but they'll be found. For what? What are we rolling again? Just a straight up D20. 14. All three of you manage to stay uh, topside and do not smell like smoke. Yeah. So, as the fire burns out of control behind you, you head back to town. And I left the goblin arrows behind where they can be found. Okay. And we're doing a cool walk. So, behind us is the fire. Yeah, we're not looking back. And we're walking in slow motion. <laughs> you get back to town just as the tavern owner is starting to lock up and says, What do you guys want? Need to go to bed. Yeah, that. Well, I got one room. That's fine. Cost you five gold pieces. Uh, God will pay you. Okay. Give me okay. a wisdom roll. Me? Uh, yeah. Eight. Oh, plus one. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, you correctly uh, use your fingers. Thank God I didn't ask for six. Uh, and you managed to get five coins to the guy. And he goes, go around the bar it's in the back. Can I go talk to the Dick Dons, the Don Dicks, and see if they'll let me sleep on their couch to prevent any boot licking? I thought you liked boot licking. No, no, no. You would surmise surmise that they're already in bed. The Morningwood family has to turn in early because their kids get killed. Because the DM is obviously crazy or something hmm. now if, if you want to go talk to the morning wood folks you will not be able to get back into the town i'll just go back into the room okay you guys go back into the room and the guy that you gut shot is in that room as well the hell? it's a one room place. it's not an inn hey how you doing hey i'm fucking shot in the gut what do you think can I like your boots? I don't care what you do. Would you guys like a drink? 
I hey, I, hel I helped you out. I smuggled some Subic brandy here. This stuff is great. It's the only thing keeping the pain down. Let's get drunk. Sumic as in sumac? Subic as in Subic Bay, where you came from. Oh, okay, okay. Subic as in tequila. Who wants to drink the Subic Bay alcohol? Me. No. One? Just one. Give me a constitution save there, Gur. Gur? Gur. Yes. Gur. Gur. No one's going to call you that right one. See, it, it, the font size is like that. Not invader zim, sir. Um, what, what am no. I doing? What's yes. happening? Uh huh. This is the save. Nat 20. Ooh, very nice. You down the entire flask, and he just stares at you like we were supposed to share that. <laughs> oh, I did that. <laughs> Thank so, you. Uh, everybody, just give me a straight up D twenty. Make sure you worldwide Weezer. You did that. Fourteen. Is it initiative or no? Nineteen. Okay. All three of you managed to wake up at the crack of dawn uh, with the smell of fresh bacon cooking mm. in the mm -hmm. inn and uh, a rather. Lamenting mood has fallen over the tavern as everybody gets ready to make the long, cold walk uh, into the snowstorm. I'll leave for a second, guys. I know where we're going. Oh, wait. I mean, you guys go ahead. We'll, of course, follow behind because we've never been there before. Wow. <laughs> well. So, everybody want to eat breakfast? You, yeah. You have your spells back. You should get full health. So you have forty-three health again. Oh wow! Holy crap! Yes, we slept. Okay. Let me go, you one. You can do everything all over. So, uh, as everybody gathers outside around the temple, they bring out the little five-year-old who's dressed in your standard white sackcloth piece of shit robe uh, that should show blood nicely when he is mauled to death by whatever uh, demon of ore uh, is sent for him. You also see the Morningwood family as well as the Johnson family. Everybody is looking tiny at the rows, and uh, Mr. Morningwood is giving you guys the stink eye, wondering if you guys are going to actually save his kid or not. The wink does little to instill confidence in him. Uh, the uh, pastor gathers and says, blah, 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 religious shit, religious shit, nobody cares about the boy is sobbing, weeping uncontrollably as he knows his future is not so bright and he doesn't need shades. So everybody forms up behind him, including Mr. Morningwood, who gives the Star Wars family guy nod to both Gah and Darkheart. Boom. And uh, Boom. you can Boom. file in with the family if you would like. Uh, Connor has already been recognized as not being a family member and will not be allowed to gather at the head of the procession. Go and Darkheart if you wish to get into the forward section of the procession. Okay. Go. What? <laughs> Going the front or the in the back. Talk to the fucking DM. <laughs> it's fuck you, Frank. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad I'm putting for you up tonight. <laughs> Would you like to get to the head of the line with the family, the Morningwood family? Yeah, sure. Thank you. That sounded resounding. Uh, as the pastor leaves the procession, he continues to spout off religious crap, religious crap, blah, 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 blah. And you notice that the intensity of the snowstorm has picked up, and it's a rather heavy flurry of snow. Uh, movement is difficult, but all of your tracks have been erased, which is good news. Uh, about a mile into it, 
Uh, uh, you reach the smoldering remains, remains that are now snow covered, uh, uh, and everybody, everybody stops, stops and is curious. <gasps> a loud screech is heard coming out of the snowstorm. Mm. Okay. The pastor looks around, puzzled, and sends his acolyte up to investigate. You guys are all about 20 feet away. You can make out the shadow of the acolyte as uh, he ponders through the snow and yells out over the din of the storm, I found goblin arrows, and a large, hulking, dark figure is coming up behind him, and all of a sudden, that fucker's dead. <laughs> Hey Zorn, let's turn around and go home, everybody! The acolyte's head rolls up the rift and lands at the preacher's feet. Everybody goes haywire as the large, hulking, hairy figure bursts out of the snowstorm, snarling. I need everybody to make a DC 13 versus Constitution. Yeah. What does that do? Um, constitution saving throw. So you roll your d20 and add. Yeah. That's a nine. 14. You pass. Go. Nope. 14. Uh, and Connor, you get to do it at advantage since you're farther away. Yeah. Good. Did you say 14? Nope. Mm hmm. So you and Darkheart pass. Uh, the rest of the family do not. Uh, Connor, you take 3d6 cold damage and lose one round. Uh, fortunately, it's only eight damage. Uh, I will take initiative rolls from Gun and Darkheart at this time. Honey. Three. Eleven. Is that a natural? Okay. Eleven? Mm-hmm. And I got a nineteen. Uh, Darkheart, you are up. You can choose melee weapon or uh, missile weapon if you step back. I go melee weapon. Oh. Melee. Not good enough. Go, uh, you lost initiative. I am going to try and hit each one of you. So, uh, red is dark heart, orange is go. Uh, six and a 19. Go, you get blasted. I get what? You get blasted with oh, claw okay. damage and cold damage. That sounds like mm. uh, 13 hit points of damage, and you are up, Guh. Okay, well, I'm going to rage. Okay, wise choice. No, no. Rage, 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 rage. And you can attack. And then I, then I attack. Yep. And then I'm going to very violently throw my trident at this thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna. Well, she's already <laughs> thrown away her hand axe, so. Yeah, right? <laughs> so you get 11 plus 6. So 17. That's it. Okay. So you get 6 plus 4 plus 2. 6. Mm -hmm. The normal dice. Plus 4 plus 2. Yep, because you're raging. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, eight. Eight damage? Eight. Brought to you by the Murder Hobo Dice. Nice. They don't always roll well. But when they, they do, do, they do. They do. Yes. Uh, uh, round, everybody. Uh, Kyle, you can jump in on this one. All right. Red will be the orange. Uh, five. Oh. you. Oh. Seven. Uh, uh, I did not beat you. Woo! Uh, and I did not beat the Rangers. So the Rangers, uh, that's going to be a miss. 
Uh, Connor, you are up. Okay. I am going to um, shoot at it with my heavy... Well, yeah, I'll shoot at it with my heavy crossbow. Does a 10 hit. A 12 is what you need, so no. Okay, so no. And then I am going to inspire Ga. Oh, hell yeah. Um, what are you inspiring me for? You'll get a d6 roll to add to whatever you want. Uh, yes, you can add it to damage, to hit. Do it the, uh, do it the claw damage again to those two. Uh, this time I got the ranger, but I don't think a 12 hits the barbarian, does it? Okay. So, let's get the... Two, six, seven... Four is 11 damage. Fair enough. Uh, next up is Go. Okay, I'm going to throat punch him. Okay. Sure. Jeez. Oh. Okay. 16. 16 damage. 16 to hit. Oh, nice. You only need a 12 to hit this thing. So, roll a d4. Mm-hmm. And if you want to add your D6, you can. Or you can save mm-hmm. it for something like that. That's mm-hmm. up to you. Yeah. Okay. Three plus four plus two. Seven. Nine. Nine. And your D6. Nine. Eleven. Total. Yes. Uh, new round, everybody. More damage than your train. Oh. Uh, Nineteen. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. What? Initiative. Oh. Uh, 17. Everybody beats me. We'll start with uh, Connor. Okay, go ahead. Well, I will... Um, I'm going to point at it. Boom strike. You! And um, I will cast Healing Word, second level on the. Did you steal my D four? Sure. D4. Thanks. Uh, cast Healing Word on the Ranger for eight. Eight points back. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up is the seventeen. That's go. Um, I'm just gonna go back to my trusty. Stop it, you. Stop. Are you grabbing it or are you telling him? Just stop? telling him. Okay. Intimidate me. I'm gonna intimidate all the fuck. Oh, that's probably not gonna be very good. Mine was a nineteen. Yeah, no, I I didn't do that. Show off. Okay. Uh last but not least. Well actually not last, but last for you guys. Dark art. Why is it? It says dark heart, but it says black heart. Again, he oh, just oh, yeah, didn't pay attention to that shit. Exactly. <laughs> black, black heart misses. Uh, I am going to chilling gaze. Uh, Connor, and I'm going to claw attack on even the barbarian. So, Connor, I need a DC 13 Constitution. And go. Does, uh, yeah, 19, 19 gets you, right? 19. Nine. About 15. 19? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, eight hit points to go. And Connor, did you make your roll? Four. Oh, yeah, because I'm raging. 12. Uh, no, you did not. Uh, you lose your attack round. Okay. You'll take 11 more damage. Uh, new round. Mm-hmm. Kyle, you will be out of it this round. Oh, okay. Oh, 20. 30. 20. 20. Oh, I'm learning. Yeah. 30, 20 as well. And 
Connor's out. Uh, ladies, uh, ladies slash sir, you are up. Me. Black, Blackheart and uh, go ahead. <laughs> Woo! Hey, everybody. That's a one. Just roll a natural one, I imagine. Uh, <laughs> uh, I did. Go, what did you do? Eight. Wait. What did you do? What, what, are you what telling am I doing? him to stop? Or are you going to hit him? Or are you going to grapple him? I'm going to pinch him. Like between the earlobes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. You want to call that a grapple? <laughs> No. <laughs> I know you are the counter to this raffle. I'll give her one by four. <laughs> if you can Intimidation. I'm going to try to intimidate him. What did you last time? 19 this time. It's a 17 this time. 19. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, I will, if I attack you, I will attack you at disadvantage. Uh, dark heart, or black heart, uh, we roll, if it's an odd, it's you, if it's an even, you hit go. No! Don't do it! Ten. That's an even. <laughs> uh, do your damage and then have it. Why you gotta do me like that? Three, four, five, four. Eight, four damage, go. Two damage, go. Because yes, you're raging. Uh, the nine is me. Uh, let's see if I'm going to chill in gaze. Ten rounds. I will chill in gaze on uh, uh, Black Horse even. Uh, so, uh, go. Give me a DC 13 versus Khan. At advantage. You <laughs> took it from me. I wanted the lucky die. Uh, but the what is it? Yep. 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 You shake your head no. Two fucking ones. Uh, uh, six. 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 Go ahead and catch your way. Way. You gotta say no. No. Words help. No. So, so you will not get to attack next round, and you will suffer seven damage. Is any of it what kind of damage? Cold. You're fine. Yeah. Have it again. Uh, now, new initiative. Gun yeah. is out this round. Connor is back in. No halves. Ten. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. Seven. Half is three. Three and a half. No, we don't do it. Okay. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, Black is up. Fifteen. Yes. Nine. Uh, Connor. Nine. I don't know what they're going to do. Oh my god. Four dice. Wow. Really? <laughs> I am going to attempt. I'm going to. Uh, this will go bad or worse. I'm going to cast sleep. Uh, and hopefully it will hit just the Yeti thing. <laughs> Uh, 10, 21, 27, 31, and uh, 38. So does that go by who has the most or who has the least? Who has the least first? Uh, How many hit points you got left? Like eleven. Twenty one. No, don't stop now. <laughs> 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 you might be done here. 
God, God. Blackheart, fall into a deep slump. <laughs> how, uh, how long does that last as a concentration? Uh, it's been a while. Give me half a second to see how... Uh, one minute, or if we shake... Is anyone an elf? Are you an elf, Blackheart? No, I'm human. Yeah. Yeah. Or until they take damage or are shaken awake. That is not concentration. Good news, Connor. Uh, the Yeti is pleased that it has defeated those two and is headed right for you. No, no, I'm, I'm going to run away. <laughs> it is, you know. Uh, Eight. Eight. Uh, do I use chilling days? I do not use chilling days. I use claws. Ooh, a natural one and a 15. So 21 and a natural one. 21 will hit. So you will have advantage on one of your attacks. Uh, that's 8 plus 4, 12. No, it won't. I'm down. <laughs> so is it concentration or just does it last a minute? It lasts a minute. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Gu and Blackheart roll a d20. If it's 10 or above, you're going to wake up. Go. Everybody's dead. <laughs> On a bright note, the gems have never been more plentiful. <laughs> Did the kid make it out? TPK. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Hold on I need to get the crowd cheering gift up there. TPK. You were asleep. Yeah. I was murdered. <laughs> it was your fault. I just take it away. Uh, the good news is you were over half the hit points on the Yeti. So you yeah. could have killed it until you fell asleep. <laughs> How many hit points did that have left? Uh, it, was it was down, down 20 from 51. So you yeah, so yeah, had been there, there yeah, you could have put it to sleep. Folks, uh, 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 yeah, 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 uh, yeah, it's, it's right, right at 10 o'clock, so... so. I think I did my job perfectly well. I expect the check in the mail, Frank. Mm. You've made both the wives angry. Uh, starting with your wife, who is going to beat the shit out of you. Uh, well, she's blissfully ignorant. It's fine. I have no idea what's going on. It's fine. Oh, you're, you're dead. dead. You're, you're dead. dead. It's his fault. He killed <laughs> you. Uh, so, no. since this was your first adventure. And there's no squirrels. And no squirrels. The squirrels. No. That I'm going to talk about. The squirrels eat your eyeballs and eat them. Oh, that's a. If you saw RIPD, you know what the squirrels do next. Oh. Yeah. Uh, So, what did you think of your first adventure? (laughs) It was fun. It was good. Um, She's being polite. I'll tell you what she really says once the cameras turn off. (laughs) They're the same thing. It was shit. I can't believe you forced me to do this. This was awful. No. I could have been doing it. You are taking me to Hamilton next weekend for this bullshit. <laughs> By the way, Frank, I'll be out next weekend. So. No. Uh, Dark Heart, Black Heart, Carrie, what, what was your opinion of this scenario? It was interesting. I never got to voice my true opinion of children, but, you know, there's that. Um... Well, hmm. the child's dead, so you can rejoice in the fact. Oh, no. Oh, uh, you know, I'm not re- You know, I think the Yeti just went apeshit and killed everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fine. There are no Harry Johnsons left in this. Scene. No. Is there morning wood? Uh, there's no morning wood anymore. It's all been pecked away. Very good. Uh, no peckers left. Uh, last but not least, our hero du jour, Kyle. 
<laughs> for killing everyone. Thank you, Kyle. This it has been a while since I've gotten everyone dead, so it was really nice. And to screw my wife over completely, I haven't done that in years. We've been married for that long, so you know it's nice. And that's why she's cranky, yeah. honestly. Very nice. Uh, folks, this has been another fabulous night of Murder Hobo Inc. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube channel if you want to buy crap like uh, this cool shirt. Uh, the link is up there, tinyurl.com, RPG Swag. You can get a duvet, a duvet with our shit on it. Uh, folks, I had a blast because, hell, it's rare that I get the TPK, so kudos to Kyle. Uh, don't forget, on Tuesday, we've got another uh, edition of Between the Rolls, and next Saturday, maybe, maybe not uh, the campaign. So for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., Thanks for joining us. Uh, everybody, give them a wave. Bye, everybody. Oh, it's Goodbye. the queen wave. Goodbye.